Good morning, uh, welcome to Copy Your Service. This how to video will be instructing you, showing you how to set the feature defaults for the Xerox Work Center 7220 family. Now, Xerox words things differently compared to the likes of Canon, Toshiba, and whatever. So, feature defaults basically means your default settings. So, when you walk up to the photocopier to use it as a copier, how would it be set to black and white as default or color? Some customers ask that it be set to black and white so they don't use uh, the color and ch charge color prices just for a document that may have a dot of blue in it or uh, maybe a pen mark of red. And uh, in that kind of situation, that copy would register at a full color copy and they'd pay the full color copy price if they're paying uh, on a cost per copy basis. Anyway, uh, moving swiftly on, uh, you'll see that uh, this feature on a Xerox machine is quite advanced. You can set more than just color defaults. Everything can be set at once. Anyway, from the main home screen, you would select the information tab. Oh, I've, I've already had this set up. Let's cancel out of that to show you how it's done from the beginning. Right, so you'd select the information tab, then you would select tools, then service settings, copy service, and you select feature defaults. You see, this opens a whole array of settings that you can change here. You can select it to be auto detect, black and white or more which would be single color i don't know why you'd want to set it up for single color but basically you can also set up the paper supply if you want it to default to uh, any one of the particular trays that the machine has you can do that if you want to save paper and have it printed uh, automatically on double sided you select two to two sided somebody walks up to the machine makes a 40 page copy uh, then they don't need you'd only print on 20 pages both sides and if you notice along the top here, you can also default the image quality. Whether it's photo and text, you can set your color balance and other image options. Um, you've got layout. These are probably less important. Yeah, job build. That's for another video. Anyway, so this is how you would set up your, your um, feature defaults. At the moment, it's set to auto detect. It's set to automatically select the paper and uh, single-sided copying is enabled and it's collated. You would then save the defaults. And you're done. So when you walk up to the machine and copy, it will be selected, everything there. You see auto-select, auto-detect uh, color. Paper supply automatically selects based upon the paper you put in the feeder and uh, single-sided copying collating. That's it. As simple as that. Have a good day. Bye.